Good day, everybody, brothers and sisters, fellow devotees and children of our Blessed Mother. I hope you understand itong ating pagsasama-sama through the internet, through uh, media, ay hindi ito lamang nagmi-meeting tayo, nag-explain tayo, nag ng conference. No? no, we are praying because we are the Blessed Mother. And if you, if you understand the Blessed Mother, she is the great prayer the the one who prays intensely why ang, ang prayer talaga is union with god faith in god who is always loving us and that is what we are trying to do with the help of our blessed mother so at this point uh, thank you for those who have been following our series and uh, I may I invite you again to prayer with our blessed mother to her and to our god let us recognize the presence of the lord the presence of the whole church for which uh, we are uh, dedicated, the presence also of our brothers and sisters who would like to know more and become more involved with our Blessed Mother. Almighty Father, thank you for gathering us, uniting our hearts, making us all experience the love, your love and the love of our Blessed Mother manifested in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Help us to have the heart of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Mother so that our whole being will be focused on you and we will understand indeed the infinite love you have for each one of us and for all of us. Grant that in listening, not only to the words silently spoken, but to the life of the Blessed Mother, we will be transformed into her son Jesus, become truly her sons and daughters, and therefore also your sons and daughters. Send us your spirit so that we will always be enlightened, not only in mind, but may our hearts burn with love for you and may we be completely open to your inspiration. We ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here together with Sister Dayai and uh, Brother Charlie. May we be more united to Jesus, transformed into Him, and become pleasing to the Father and filled with the Holy Spirit. So last time we have been uh, praying about the different apparitions of Blessed Mother in different places. And uh, lately we have been discussing what happened in Lipa. And uh, I think that is worth uh, reflecting because it has something to do not only with our relationship with our Blessed Mother but what God and the Blessed Mother expects of all of us especially Filipinos in this time of the history of the church so Charlie and uh, Ate Dayay welcome to this Marian prayer and uh, I think you will help us deepen our union with her Arka, thank you very much for giving us this uh, rare opportunity um, I have several questions with me. I think I have, we have to go straight with the discussion. Huh? Um, first, and uh, I think this is one of the things that most people is uh, asking, and we don't even have the, re the answer up to this moment in time. Uh, remembering the Commission on Records and Documentation, you call it CORD, no? which we believe I, the, ito yung uh, more complete documentation that we have with regards to the Lipa apparition. Uh, the group headed by you, I believe, or and several priests and nuns that uh, took their time and effort to have this one compiled. No? Uh, did you find anything conclusive 
what or I would rephrase it. What is your conclusion and findings that make you uh, issue the declaration of September 12, 2015? Alam mo, yung court, which is said that, ako talaga, I, I'm behind that all the time, no? And everything that, that happened since I became Archbishop of Lipa, no? Pero I gathered this group, Anand si Father Richard Hernandez, yeah. si Mother Julie Mikosa, meron mga psychologists dyan, may, may mga iba't ibang kwala, field, different field. priests at saka lay people, at saka religious. At saka marami silang sources. Ang first ay di panahon pa nung, kwan, nung 1950s, nas ended up in a rather, rather uh, parang unfortunate uh, conclusion na may, that's what I felt no, when I looked over the history na maraming mga parang hindi magandang nangyari. Mga, kasi ibang conclusion dun sa findings. No? Lumalabas na. No? para maraming questions. No? That was the first. No? Pinigil yun. Nagkaroon ng final decision noong 1951. No? Ang second ay panahon ni Archbishop Gabiola. I think it was headed by uh, Bishop the auxiliary bishop Kison and ang lay counterpart ay si former justice uh, Harriet, Harriet Demetrio. Yeah. They have a very rich uh, compilation. compilation no? yeah. So yung ginawa ni na Father Richard, Sister Julie and company which I, I looked through no? marami yan. Ano, It's a big volume. Ay yung big what volume. remains of the first the 50s no? findings because pinasira yung lahat ng records nung at that time eh sabi pero hindi naman lahat nasira ang nasira lang sinunog ay nasa mga madre pero meron yang hawak ng mga lay people and then yung memories ng mga bishops involved katulad ng mga hindi nga sila ang commission pero sila ang pumirma no yan ang mga questionable things sila. then yung 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 kay Bishop Gabriel, very extensive din nagawa nila, marami. Then yung mga, ang mga recent happenings naman, hindi eh, yun na idagdag ni ng uh, court uh, that I started. No? Which uh, the pronouncement of uh, December 11, 2015 from uh, Rome, They call it Protocol 2006, right? 1949. 2016, yata na. 2006, 1949, yeah. Well, yun ay, yung sinabi nila that I should abrogate, I should disband the commission. By that time, not disband, kasi kompleto na eh. Yes, sir. Kompleto na eh. So, tapos na, tapos na yun. Kaya yung I was asked to write na dinisband ko, tsaka that I acknowledge na mali ako, ay di sinabi ko, that, that does not exist anymore. Ang mga records nandyan, complete. It cannot be disbanded because it's already there a public. Oo, oh, oh, nakakapagod okay. na yan. Uh, let me continue that one. You are talking about the, you said, uh, final decree, uh, declaration of 1951. Was that the, the signed uh, uh, Decree or I don't know what the... Yun ang pinaka-conclusion supposedly ng investigation ng 1950s. No? Yung document, April 11, 1951, signed by six, one archbishop okay. and five auxiliary bishops yata lahat sila, no? which who became bishops later. No? Pagkatapos, uh, yung April 12... 1951 was a accompanying document one day after coming from the same source and nag-sign lang ay the, at that time Bishop Rufino Santos na administrator of Lipa. That time. Yeah. At that, that time. time. So there, there was no pi finality, a so-called finality during that time? Or you can consider well, that one as a final? Para sa kanila, they stop everything. Pina at least yung second document Sinabi din, to burn everything, to stop the devotion. Pero, ironically, dun sa document of 2015, December 11, ay kuhan yung, yung, yung sinabi dun na hindi kanila, hindi galing sa Roma, 
yung April 12, 1950 document. Pero doon sa yung ginawa ni Cardinal Santos to ban everything, remove yung Blessed Mother, sabi, destroy eh. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. that is making definitive yung decision okay. about 1948 incident noong 1951. Pero on April 11, April 12 document, sinabi din doon ni, ni yeah. Cardinal. Cardinal Santos. Yun. So, that, that is that where, is that is na. where si Archbishop Gaviola at saka ako made our stand. We want Rome to say definitively mm, yes, what sir. they really mean. Kasi nagsulat nga dun sa uh, April 12 document until such time that the Holy See will say something. That means the Holy See has not said something. Yes. That is the reason probably kung bakit dinidinay nila that, December, that April 12 document is from them. Kasi contrary yun sa kanilang uh, sinasabi. What, they, what they're saying. Uh. Ay, ang problema, the same document came from the same source. Even if ang signatory, uh, uh, inamin din yan. Dun sa, dun sa, sa December 11, 2015 document yeah. that they used the bishops to sign so that they will avoid yung negative or violent reaction from the, the local locals. people. So that means yung 12 bishops who said after serious uh, consideration. consideration, we have come to the they were not the ones who made that serious consideration if there ever was. No? They were not the ones. So at least inamin nila, that, that added to the question rather than uh, determining the answer. That added to that question na parang something is fishy, may itinatago. That is why yung, yung may stand is even more clear na hindi pa definitive yung 1951 document. Did you find it um, strange? I would say strange. Having a, having a conclusion or a decree or this This uh, non, for me, it's there's no finality on the 20 on the 1951. Ano? Did you find it strange that you have the declaration three years after the apparition? Yes. No. Parang, um, parang, parang it's so fast As, oh. that even the dapat yata po it's the local bishop should declare the if it is true or not oh, oh. and then while the investigation is still ongoing i, I mean for other oh, oh. operation po and what happened was ni remove sa office si bishop versosa and, and uh, uh, auxiliary of bishop of yar and then six bishops from different places together true. with ano with the new apostolic administrator ano, sign the, the negative verdict. Ang, uh, your question is, uh, did I find it uh, strange? Strange. First of all, I should say no and yes. No? no, because I did not know these things were happening long before I did not know what to okay. say. First of all, I was still young. When the apparitions took place, happened. I was only four years old. Yun nga sabi ko, I'm very happy na ang birthday ko, November, November, November that is the last apparition, yeah. when she said, I am the mediatrix of all grace. And you know, I was, I'm very happy with uh, Justice uh, Harriet. Harriet lately, na yung kanyang sinulat, beautiful, no? Talagang, hindi, ang, ang lipa is a revelation of mediatrix of all grace, hindi, of all graces. Mm -hmm. And that, that is a very good explanation. All grace is the right one. No? Although all grace is not completely wrong, but we must understand that all grace is Christ. No? Anyway, I did not know anything about this before I became Archbishop. Siguro nung malapit na wing Archbishop, I read the book of June Kitley. I did, I did not know I would become Archbishop of Lipa. And I read it as any other book. And I'm very happy. Uh, actually, I, be I believe that something is present. The, the blessed man is present in Lipa. But I did not know much about the, the apparitions. And I did not care. Uh, that was not my concern. Now, I said yes. I find it intriguing. When I came to here, when I started to 
be involved with the case when I became Archbishop especially. Because, uh, because something is wrong. Why will... Uh, and, and, and my first feeling is that just because I'm brown and I'm Filipino and I'm only 500 years a Catholic nation, ay aapihin nila. I have been to France. I have been to Lourdes several times. I have been to, to Fatima. I have been to Guadalupe. So I say, bakit? Katoliko din mo ng Pilipinas. Ay, bakit tayo walang gayon? Kaya yes. minsan, when I was studying French, I was a young priest, no? I was studying in Rome. I went to France to, to learn French. Tuwan-tuwa sa akin yung madre na kapatid ng isang Carmelite sister where I stayed, no? I, I, I work as chaplain in the Carmel near Paris, Dumong. The Archbishop of Paris told me to stay there and be chaplain during summer, no? At the same time, may nagbabakasyon din na kapatid ng isang madre, na madre din, daughter of charity, ay siyang nagtuturo sa akin how to pronounce French. Ay, ang, ang aming libro ay, favorite ko, Saint Therese, ano? ay French yan. Pagkatapos, ang Lord Bernadette, French, French din yan. Si Saint Vincent de Paul and Saint Louis de Maria, yung kanilang founders and founder and founders. Ano? French din yan. Sabi sa akin ng madre, Father, I realize most of your favorite saints are friends. Why? So, I, I believe friends is privileged people. Imagine you have saints and you have apparition of the Blessed Mother. Then I joked her, I try, I try to find out how, how you do it. <laughs> Maybe we, we, we don't we, we have this in the Philippines. We can follow a pattern of <laughs> actions. No? He, she left. But later on, I realized that this pattern it became my life. Uh, Bakit nga, I think what, when I looked at the book of John Quigley, and when I learned more about this, there is something wrong with the one, with the, I, I didn't believe that churchmen can, can, can suppress mm -hmm. something, and, and do you, all those things that happened in, 1940, in 1950, including what you said, no? You know, it is true that the first investigation was made by the, it should have been made by the local, local bishop, bishops, and they did. Bishop Obiar was told by Bishop Bersosa, who did not believe at first. He said, you go there and uh, try to find out what, this, uh, what, is, what kind of foolishness this is. And uh, you, you stop them if, the, the, if there's something wrong. But they ended up believing. And the, the apostolic delegate at that time, Archbishop Piani, who is a Salesian, he believed. And one of his secretaries, the one Bishop, uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, the old man, the, the one who said that they, were, they went to Rome, he was secretary of Bishop of Biar. And Bishop Pedernal, of Biar, Bishop Pedernal, Pedernal. Bishop Pedernal said that at that, that time that he used to be secretary of Piani, he, he believed. And he still, he, did, he still had the petal. And said, why did you not speak out? Say, we, well, why will I speak out? You are the ones who are there. But they did speak out, of Biar and, and uh, Versosa. But they were suppressed. No? They were not even included in the investigation. They were not asked. So there is something wrong. Uh -huh. And then when to, to destroy the image of the Blessed Mother, I find that rather, rather um, very hurting. Strange. Hurting. Yeah, hurting because yeah. it, 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 so it's only later on when they, they put out the, the image of the Blessed Mother that I realized that is the image we were praying when I was a small boy. We were praying okay. the rosary every night, and that is the image, among others, no? but that is prominent in our altar. altar. Okay. So, I was not aware of this, uh, I would say, some sne tricky things no? before I became Archbishop. When I realized that, so later on, that is uh, how many years? 50 years after, 60 years after, then I said something is wrong. And then I found out that Archbishop of Gabiola was the first one to lift the ban. Actually, he's not the one. It is a Bishop Escaler who lift the ban. Yes. That's why the sisters were able to talk about it. No? And then everything started all, all over. And when I came back, as I have said, said in the last uh, um, session, I think I came back only for this. True. That is, true, that is true, my true. only purpose why I became Archbishop. Because, because for us, as a lay devotees, no, nagiging tanong po yun eh sa ka nakakita ng investigation, investigation to proceed ay yung mga documents supporting documents ay sinusunog at sinisira 
So, saan ang basis ng investigation? Ano po? So, that, that will remain a big question mark for us until uh, we, we will not know the answer anyway. Uh, at saka, sabi niya nga po nyo, just believe, just believe. That's the most important thing. And you know, Archbishop, nung September 12, 2015, when you issued your decree, after that, I've been waiting from CBCP or Rome, Vatican, to say something to about your, to, huh? your decree. Pero nothing was coming, nothing came up. And then, until on May 30th or 31st, you, you issued your communique. Is that right? Mm. Communique. So parang nabigla kaming lahat, actually, lahat ng mga devotee nabigla. Bakit kayo nag-issue ng ganun? C can you tell us why? Di, nasabi ko nga na yung I was asked by Rome no, to explain. And I wrote Rome. No? Why did I do it? Ano? At binanggit ko dyan, ay, my letter is there, no? binanggit ko dyan na we need our blessed mother now. And she came because she knows we need her. First of all, we need her because of the dream of the church that Asia will become Christian, Catholic in the third millennium. That is the argument. We need her because of what is happening now, unhappy happening, which is getting worse. That is why we are in this situation now. No? We need her. And the Blessed Mother knows that. So I said that it is true. She has to come here to strengthen us and to, come to, to bring us together so that we will apply the right solution to our problems and to what God wants. And that is prayer, sacrifice, and return to God. No? So, I, I gave that explanation. And then, in, as I was telling you, I started telling that in January 2016, uh, it became one of the topic of the CBCP, which was not <coughs> suggested earlier. But it is due to that declaration that I made. No? And probably, resp the response of Vatican was first addressed to the president of the city. Probably, I don't know. Because I got only the, the reaction right there during our meeting. I saw it is one of the topics. By the way, I was asked <clears throat> in the July meeting, I was asked to speak about the mediatrix of all grace. July of 2016? 2016. 2015. 2015. Okay. Before the decree, my decree, no? Uh, for the privileged speech, no? Now, I, 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 I said, I will, I am very willing, no? And I prepared. Then all of a sudden, they told me to speak on the, there is another topic. And they said, how about mediatrics? Oh, you don't have to speak about it anymore. Uh, uh, okay. I was told that, then I was surprised, but I was ready. And then I, when I when I did, saw the program, I am to speak about that other topic, no? ah, about the trans, National Transformation Council. No? Archbishop Cardinal Quevedo would be talking about mediatrix. Yeah. Why did they ask me first? I should be the one to talk. Now they gave it to Cardinal Quevedo. Is it mediatrix of Lipa or mediatrix of all, of all graces? graces? Lipa is the is the main. Uh, Topic. Topic. That's the issue, yeah. Uh, and all, but also the, the, the dogma, the proposed dogma of mediatrix and, uh, and uh, corridemplis. Anyway, so that was, Ju that was July of 2015. And I didn't mind anymore. No? So this is January. There go. The, the, in the plenum, uh, the, the basis, the basis well, what are we going to do? Are we going to ask Rome what to do with the decree? The focus was given on asking. And so there was a vote. Those who are in favor, Very and sure. you know, it's only one did not agree, and that is not me. I was in favor of asking oh. Rome what to do with my decree. They don't mention that it came from me, yeah, the decree. They just talk about the decree of September, September 12, 12, 2015. So I voted, and the other bishop who did that vote was angry with me. Why did you vote in favor? Because in the subject for voting, it is said, we will ask Rome, provided they will reopen the case. Okay. So all of us, except one, voted. And that one was looking, I will tell you who, 
was looking with, quite, with, with fiery eyes at me. He's a good friend of mine. Huh? And then later he said, why did you not vote? Why did you vote for that? Because they're going to reopen the case. No, that is against you. He said it. Huh? That is against you. It is not really a... Reopening. It is not really uh, finding out what we will do and asking, and uh, we will ask Rome. It, it is Rome who asked probably the bishops to ask Rome. But it is against me, he said that now. I did not, I, I said, them, it's okay. Uh, you, you did I not realize mind. that uh, it's uh, something, something I did not behind, consider yeah. it serious, no? Yeah, I said, okay. True. But I voted because, I voted yes because they're going to reopen the case. So things, so that was January. May 28th is the birthday, 75th birthday of the Bishop of Lucena, Bishop Marquez. 27th of May, I received a call from the President, President Socrates Villegas. Archbishop, are you going to the birthday of Bishop Marquez? Of course, he is my suffragan. If I don't go there, he will be angry with me. Can I see you? Sure. Uh, I always arrive normally one hour ahead, and I will be in the, before the Blessed Sacrament. You ask somebody to call me wherever I will meet you. Then, so the next day, uh, a seminarian from Quezon uh, went, asked me, Bishop, Archbishop Socrates is in the office of Bishop uh, Marquez. He wants to see you. Yes, I know. So I went there, and he just handed me a letter. The letter. That is the decree. What number is that? Uh, pro protocol 226, uh, 1949. Then I saw, I, thank you very much. I read it there and then after I read it several times now. What I am surprised is that is supposed to be the answer to our January plenary. Plenary because we have to ask Rome what to do with my. Declaration. Declaration. But that answer is dated December 11, 2015. Yes. So we were talking about that this January, late January 2016, and the answer is 2015. That's yes, why so I, yeah. I believe that it is Rome who asked the CBCP to ask to ask Rome. To no. So an another case, just like in 1951. Three That's right, yeah. three Something kidneys, very tri questionable. Yeah, I would say. And so, I read that in on May, on May 30, May 30. So two days after, I received a call from the nuncio. Your Excellency, can you come to off to my? Uh, tomorrow, 31 is a big day in Batangas. In Batangas, the last so day of Marianne. Santa Cruz is very big day in Batangas. And I have plenty, I have mass also that is an anniversary in, 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 but I will be there before the end of the day. 6 p.m. I was there in the, uh, in the yes. nuncio and he was waiting for me. He just gave me a copy of that letter. I said, Your Excellency, I have this already. I have read it. I have read the letter. So thank you very much. So that is what you mean, May 31. I went there May 31 before the end of the day and I got a second copy of the decree. And then I, I, I told him that. Uh, this is the answer. I am are surprised that the answer to the question of January is answered in December. 2015. I think the nuncio was a little bit uh, also, he, he, he felt something was wrong. In fact, he told me, you are in a hurry. You know, it takes years before a thing is recognized. I know that. I said, I know that. But uh, I wish, uh, people will continue to take the Blessed Mother's request. Uh, by uh, the way, you were asking me about my, my uh, communique. Yes, yes, uh, because they told me, 